Good morning, dear children. Today we are going to learn a new lesson, Shanku at Kohinoor Estate. In the last class, we have seen lesson ten. Okay, I hope you enjoyed and learned lesson ten. Now, let's go to the lesson. So, in this lesson, we are going to learn about elephant okay elephant name is shanku okay how the elephant comes to that particular estate okay um, who gave name as a shanku for the elephant okay preeti and vincent live at kohinu plantations one of the tea estates in the nilgiri hills okay priti and vincent they both are brother and sister they live at kohino plantations okay plantations means uh, the group of tree or plants that is called plantations okay one of the tea estate in the nilgiri hills so this is the Kohinoor estate. It is in the Nilgiri hills. So, okay, this is the big place, uh, big area in that particular area that is Kohinoor estate. There, Vincent and Priti living. Okay, they are the daughter and son of Mr. Tom Jones. Okay, and Priti Vincent, their father is a Mr. Tom Jones, okay. Preeti is a daughter of Tom Jones, and Vincent is a son of Tom Jones. So that means they both are child for Tom Jones, general manager of Kohinoor Plantations. So who is the general manager of Kohinoor Plantations? Mr. Tom Jones. He is the general manager of the Kohinoor estate. Who is Tom Jones? He is a father of Preeti and Vincent. Preeti is 8 years old and Vincent is 14 years old. So Preeti is a sister of Vincent. Preeti is a 8 years old. She is a girl. Vincent is 14 years old. He is a boy. Okay. But Vincent doesn't like staying in the hostel okay so that means Vincent is studying in some other place he is not in the Kohinoor estate he is studying in some other some other place he doesn't like to stay in the hostel okay he is like his native place his native place is Kohinoor estate he likes that place he is uh, admiring the natural beauty so he doesn't like to stay in the hostel so Vincent is studying in a school near Chennai. That means he is studying in nearby the Chennai at one place. Okay, he is studying there. But he stayed in the hostel. Okay, so he doesn't like to stay in the hostel because he likes his native place. He stays in the hostel. But Vincent doesn't like staying in the hostel. He doesn't like going away from the beautiful hills. He doesn't like go away from his uh, native place because in uh, hills means there are beautiful natural uh, beautiful things is there many trees uh, and many flower plants okay many birds animals so he likes that uh, situation and he admires that so he doesn't like to go out. He loves the beauty of nature. Yes, he loves the beauty of nature. So he doesn't like to stay in hostel. He wants to come back to his native place. We shall go and see Shanku. So now they decided. Who? Preeti and Vincent. They decided to go to out and see the Shanku. Who is Shanku? So the elephant, the elephant name is Shanku 
and Pretty Vincent, they decided to go and see the Shanku. We shall go and see Shanku, suggested Preeti. So Preeti, she said to her brother, shall we go and see the Shanku? So who's this name Shanku? Shanku name of elephant. So Preeti looking out through the window. So she looking out through the window that elephant. Elephant name is Shanku. They saw Shanku standing near a tree. So when they saw through the window, the elephant is shaking the tree. His small trunk. Okay. The elephant is shaking the small trunk of the tree. The Vincent and Priti Devota saw that. So the saw Shanku standing near a tree shaking his small trunk. So the elephant is shaking a small trunk. Trunk means this is the, this is called as a trunk. So now we are going to learn the some difficult word of this paragraph. So plantations, plantations means a group of planted trees or plants. So when we are going to um, plants, uh, hundred trees, or 50 or 10, 10 or 20 trees that is called plantations so hill hill we know that a naturally raised area of land not as high or craggy as a mountain so hill is the natural place so that is as a mountain we can say mountain or hill shake shake means move don't shake okay Move an object up and down or from side to side. Whether we shake up and down or side to side. Forceful jerking movements that is called shake. So now trunk. The main woody stem of a tree as distinct from its branches and roots. So now we learn the some words important words of this paragraph okay and so now when the Preeti asked to her brother shall we go and see the Shanku immediately the Vincent accept that yes let's okay the Vincent said yes let's go and see the Shanku said Vincent both the children came out in a moment so when Vincent said like that, Preeti and Vincent, they both of came out and they are ready to see the elephant. Shanku saw them and moved forward. So when they came out, the elephant also saw them. Then the elephant started to move, come forward to the Preeti and Vincent. He shook his head and raised his small trunk. So, when the elephant come forward to Preeti and Vincent, it start to raise a small trunk and shaking his body. Shanku is a small elephant. So, Shanku is a small elephant. It is not a too big. It is a small elephant. The workers of the tea estate found Shanku a few days ago. So how the elephant came that particular estate means those who are working in the estates they found that elephant maybe uh, some something happened into the elephant okay because it is a small so they found uh, that uh, elephant and they bring to the estate few days ago oh, that means or uh, two three days ago the, those who are working in the tea estates, they found the elephant and they brought to the estate. So, Shanku a few days ago. So, now we come to know where they found what happened to that elephant. Okay, trapped into a ditch in a nearby forest. So, the elephant is 
trapped in a ditch in a nearby forest so that means in nearby the forest the elephant is trapped into the ditch okay so it cannot climb up it cannot come up so those who are working the estate they help to come out okay they help to come out and they gave a name for that elephant as a shanku okay they brought him to the estate so after saving the elephant they brought to the estate now shanku is a tame elephant and does not want to run away so now he becomes as a domestic animals now it is not a wild animals it loves human beings peoples it start to play with the children okay now he elephant likes to live as a domestic animals but normally elephant is a wild animals no but now the elephant doesn't like to go away from the estate the children in the estate like the elephant so those who are living in the particular estate the children are like the elephant and they wants the want to play with the elephant but now the elephant also become a friendly with the children and it helps to the people also those who are not carried weight now so it helps to the people also now he become a domestic animals his name is shanko they have named him shanko so the elephant it, it is name is shanko so from the ditch the who are working the uh, estate the people found the uh, elephant in the ditch they gave name as a shanko now it become a domestic animals now it is not a wild animals and pretty vincent like the elephant much they want to play with it so as it the elephant also like them very much so raise what is the meaning of raise raise means lift or move to a higher position or level raise means so we have to lift to higher position in your classroom also if you did any mistakes your teachers is to say raise your hands yes no raise your hands don't talk stand straight so raise means to help to lift help okay higher positions are level so higher position or level so raise means to higher position in that level that is called raise trap what is the meaning of trap a situation in which people lie so trap means in the situation if the people saying lie in some situations comes they cannot say what happened exactly they start to say lie so that is a situation in which people lie in way to make a surprise attack that is called trap okay tam t a m e tam of an animal not dangerous or frightened of people okay that, that is i tell you no that is domestic animals domestic animals only it is not frightened to the people it mm, friendly with the people and children no so that is tam that means not dangerous or frightened we can play with as a friendly a dog cat rabbit okay cow likewise now this elephant also become a domestic animals thank you dear children today we learn who is shanku what is the name of okay who gave shanku for the elephant as a name okay who is priti and vincent so who is the manager of that particular estate tam jones is na who is the manage, manager of the estate 
Tom Jones. So keep it and learn the important words with the meaning. Thank you.